Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiter here, consultant, audiologist and director of ClearWax. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the iClearscope Endoscope. And here we have a patient who attended with this really hardened boulder of wax and there's a nice opening at the roof, uh, perfect for um, the ear hook and particularly the right angled ear hook, which just allows um, more maneuverability in the ear and I'm better able to uh, manipulate it and position it exactly where I want it. Um, came away without a fuss and I thought, okay, that's um, a nice, quick, easy one, which has not been the norm recently. <laughs> so I've had loads of challenging cases, um, which I will upload all the videos in due course. But as I'm bringing this out, you're going to see uh, just at the top there, there's some dried blood and uh, a lot of dead skin here. So you can see it better there. And I knew that obviously there's something going on in the ear here. And this follows on from my yesterday's video where I had patients with some erosions. So in the mid part of the bony part of the ear canal, so we call this the pars media on the inferior canal board, you can see there's an erosion here. There is some dead skin, uh, but there's inflamed tissue there and vascularization, some granulation tissue, some inflammatory tissue. Um, so I've just mopped this region up, peeled some of the adjacent crusted skin away, sent this patient to the GP in the first instance because there's no visible site of exposed bone, but this patient will need some anti-inflammatories, um, so some um, steroid drops, um, typically dexamethasone is given, um, and some antibiotics. And it doesn't look like it's ulcerated there in, the, in that beginning region, but just where I am now, it looks like there's some exposed bone in that region, just, just here, potentially, but it could be some soft keratin, so I'm just going to suction in, I think, there's some soft keratin underneath and once I remove that the skin doesn't look ulcerated so the skin's not missing so there's no underlying exposed bone but um, this patient is aware that we're gonna have to refer them to ENT um, so I prefer to the GP in the first instance and um, whilst the referrals being processed I have just invited this patient back after their course of medication I can just re-examine the ear see what's going on as you can see there's no active bleeding there but you can see there is some vascularization it's it's on the surface of the skin there now this could be <coughs> a case of pressure necrosis again that wax is quite hardened if you watch yesterday's video um, with the, the deep ear pits I do explain in detail the different pathologies might, that might, might cause erosions and widenings, particularly at the floor of the ear canal. So some of them being benign osteonecrosis or external auditory canal uh, uh, cholesterol or keratosis obturans, which is, this, this is not keratosis obturans, this is very localised. So just need to um, get this referral done. There's no discharge there. Uh, so it may be an early stage external auditory canal cholesterol at stage one. Stage two is when it's ulcerated. But this is why it's important when you get your ears clean, see a, a appropriately qualified professional. Because um, it's not just about earwax, guys. It's about everything else that potentially be going on in your ears. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Keep well. Speak soon.